Welcome back to Marine Real Talk. Today I'll be sharing about the EGR or the exhaust gas recirculation. EGR is a method to significantly reduce the formation of NOx in diesel engine to meet the marble NOx tier 3 regulation that limits the main air pollutants contained in ship's excess gas. NOx tier 3 emission standards are applicable only in NECA or NOx emission control areas. So let's begin with the principle of EGR. A part of exhaust gas after a cleaning and cooling process is redirected to a scavenging air receiver. About 30 to 40 percent of exhaust gas is being cooled, cleaned, and recirculated. The effect of this is that a part of the oxygen in the scavenging air is replaced by CO2 from the combustion. The heat capacity of the scavenging air is hereby slightly increased, and hence the temperature peak of the combustion is reduced. Decreased peak temperatures reduces the formation of NOx. EGR by Mitsui Man has two types, but the application depends on the engine bore size. On this video, I'll be sharing the bypass matching. To give you an overview, here's the unit of uh, EGR on engine side showing the parts of EGR. So this is the EGR operation starting sequence. Before starting the EGR, open the utility valve for NAOH and fresh water. To start the operation, touch or press the tire 3 button and the MOP. Upon pressing the start button, the EGR water initiation will be started. The mixing chamber drain valve position is changed to the receiving tank side followed by fresh water supply valve to fill up the buffer tank. The MCDV lead the process water to the receiving tank during EGR operation in Bill's tank when EGR is not running. The next to open is the seawater supply valve for pre-spray immediately followed by starting the treated water supply pump. The EGR pre-spray washes the excess gas with circulated fresh water in addition with NOAH. The NOAH neutralizes uric acid that is formed in the process water from the socks in the excess gas. The process water circulation pump running immediately followed by opening of process water sealing valve. The process water circulating pump maintains the circulation of process water from the receiving tank unit to the EGR unit. The buffer tank level switch will be activated at this time. The receiving tank level bulb open then will start the pitch control until meeting the set point of about 6.5 ppm. The NOH pump start to dose NOH solution to control the pitch value. Then will start the water treatment system. On my next video, I'll be sharing the principle and operation of the water treatment system. When the EGR process water system is started, then the excess gas recirculation will start via the EGR blower, followed by the opening of shutoff valve or SOV. The SOV also ensures no backflow of scavenging air into excess gas receiver. Blower throttle valve or BTB will be open. The BTB only open when the desired pressure drop over BTB is reached. EGR now is running, so I'll show you the gas flow. Excess gas is washed and pre-cooled during pre-spray. At the same time, the sulfuric acid from the socks is neutralized. After passing to the EGR pre-spray, the mix of cooled excess gas, steam, and process water are lead to the EGR cooler. Then, water evaporated in the EGR pre-spray is condensed in the EGR cooler. The EGR cooler cools down the EGR gas to approximately scavenging air temperature, and then will pass through the water mist catcher to separate the process water to the EGR gas before the EGR blower. The EGR blower pushes the 
each air gas to the mixing chamber for mixing with normal scavenging air cooler airflow. The EGR blower speed is controlled by a frequency converter acting on the EGR blower motor. The amount of gas recirculated is controlled by the EGR blower and the VTB so that the measured oxygen level in the scavenging air receiver matches the level corresponding to NOx tier 3 emission. The cylinder bypass valve or CVB is open except at low load to increase the scavenging air pressure. The condensed water from miscatcher called process water flows to process water receiving tank and again recirculated. So let's see the starting sequence and the ERCS MOP. Press the tier 3. Upon touching the start button, the EGL will automatically start. During starting time, you can see the display the valve operation is really so fast. Yes, really so fast. The process water tank level should reach the set point first. When the process water starts to circulate, the water level in the tank will go down and keep the receiving tank level valve close. So as you can see, the water level is going down. And also, the valve operation is really so fast. So when the tank level is reaching about 50%, then the receiving tank level valve will start to actuate. The primary purpose of this technology is to reduce the NOx. But through the excess gas cleaning, even the SOX is reduced. Operation at low load is clearly defined in the technical file for the verification for NOx emission. At auto mode, upon reaching the 15% engine load, the EGR will automatically start. And when engine load goes down to 12% and lower, the EGR will automatically stop. This operation is normally during the uh, maneuvering time wherein main engine is frequently starting and stopping. I'll be showing the actual parts of the EGR. The cylinder bypass valve or the CBV. Then here's the free spray. And the EGR cooler and water mist cutter. On the up, uh, the upper side is the cooler and the lower side is the mist cutter. On the upper portion, you can also see the EGR cooler spray nozzle. Followed by the EGR blower. Wherein, just like what I've said, the EGR blower is controlled by a frequency converter. Here's the frequency converter. This is an overview of the EGR blower and the mist catcher. Down below is the line uh, going to the mixing chamber, passing through the BTB or the blower throttle valve. So here's the line uh, going to mixing chamber and to air cooler. On the other side is the process water receiving tank unit. And the buffer tank. And the last one is the NAOH tank. Again, thank you for watching Marine Real Talk. If you like my video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you will be updated with my upcoming videos. On my next video, I'll be sharing the EGR water treatment system. So see you then. Alright.